Hello friends, thanks for joining me today. Well today we've got something kind of special going on. So before I show you all of this goodness, I want to tell you what is happening. First of all, it's pitch dark outside and uh, so my lighting is maybe not as great as usual. So I just wanted to let you know about that. But also, I'm working with a kit that was created by Rachel and Bella Crafts. It is called Botanical Dreams, and it is available on her Etsy shop. And I will make sure that I link that in my description box. I shared a video already of creating these tags that I also did for her collaboration. But after I had done these, she said, hey, if you want to use my kit, you can, because she didn't know that I had done these tags. So she said, you can use my kit. And I was like, oh, well, I would love to use your kit. So she sent that to me. And so that's what I'm working with today. So I'm going to be putting a few things together. I will be sharing that on the collaboration, and it is called hashtag Let's Do Botanical, and that is on Instagram. And it starts on... April 4th and it ends on April 19th and the day that I will be posting my makes will be April 13th so this is just a process video of me working with the kit but not only am I making stuff for that collaboration this is a very special project in and of itself so I'm getting together kind of another collab with my friend Pam of Pamela's Creations and I was talking to her and we were talking about junk journals and I had asked her opinion on, hey, what do you think if I make a journal, but that's not done? It's like a starter journal where all the heavy lifting is done, but the fun stuff is left up to the purchaser. For example, I go, I print out this kit. I'm gonna sew it into its uh, cover. So that part is kind of hard for some people, getting the signature sewn into the cover. So I'm going to do that. I'll find out from Pam if she wants me to decorate the cover or if she wants to decorate the cover or if she wants me to just start with the decorations and give her some stuff that she can finish it with. I'm also going to, I printed out these pockets. These are beautiful. They're part of the kit as well. I'll be adhering these into the book, but I will be giving her the tags to decorate. Here they are pretty sure these are the ones that fit in the pockets. Yeah, these fit right in there. So I will be sending these to her as they are. They are journaling tags and I will just send these to her. I'll find out though if she wants me to add brads to them or not. Not brads, I always say it you guys, eyelets. Um, if she doesn't have a crocodile or something else that she can add eyelets in and she wants them, I can do that. Otherwise, um, she can just leave them as a card. She can add fabric to it that requires no eyelet. You just take and glue some fabric to the top. So I told her for this collaboration, I need to, well, for my collaboration with Let's Do Botanical, I need to finish a few of the tags and maybe a few pages in here, have it completely done for my photos on Instagram, and then the rest I can make and she can finish it up. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. Let me give you guys a quick look at the journal. I printed out the kit on some scrapbook paper, so this is part of the kit, but this, both of these pages are scrapbook paper, but then when you flip it over, this is the kit. Scrapbook paper, kit. Uh, both of these are the kit. Uh, scrapbook paper, kit. This is also the kit. Both of these are the kit. Uh, kit and scrapbook paper. Kit and scrapbook paper. Both of these are the kit. Both of these are scrapbook paper. And this is the kit. And then all of the ephemera is the kit. There's some ephemera here. And then this is one of the envelopes. 
There's more, guys. I'm just showing you some of it. This is a piece from the kit as well. There is a ton of words and little tags. The tags come in a variety of sizes. So guys, that's what you're doing, and I'd like to get your thought on if you think you would like a starter journal. You could practically pick the theme, and then I could, you know, like I said, do the heavy lifting. So that's what we're gonna work on today, and then we're gonna get it packaged up and sent to Pam, and then she can finish it up. And then look for my photos on the 13th of April for the Let's Do Botanical collaboration. And I asked her, I said, hey, do you want me to decorate the cover? And she said, yes, please decorate the cover. So I was happy to do that. Um, on other ones, and I, I want your guys' feedback. On other ones, uh, if the cover is something that you would want to do, then you would say leave the cover alone. So you can see I've, I, what I did was I used a vintage um, napkin and then I covered that with lace and then I added, I stitched on this tassel trim, which I think the colors just look great together. So what I'm going to show you is an incomplete journal. It, this journal is not finished. I added a few little things here and there as inspiration and then I did do one of the center sections because I needed that for my collaboration photo that's going to show up on Etsy, I'm sorry, on Instagram on the 13th of April. And again, in case you want to check it out, that's the Let's Do Botanical collaboration hosted by Rach and Bella Crafts. So, uh, and this is the Botanical Dreams kit by them and that is available in Rachel and Bella's Etsy shop, and I'll make sure that I link that in my description box in case you like what you see here. So again, this is an unfinished journal. Uh, I left this blank so this could be embellished, but when you open it up, there is some paper inside, but, uh, and I did add this just to kind of give an idea you know, maybe just for some inspiration. So like I said, I added a few things here and there, and then Pam can add to it. And I'm gonna send her uh, the, the scraps of what I was working with, uh, pieces and parts of the kit that are left over. There's some in here. There's uh, some tags that can be cut apart. Can you see them? <laughs> I've got this all kind of finagled together so I want to take it apart. I probably should have shown you that first before I put it all together. But anyway, I'm going to send that all in the package along with this. So see, I left this tag blank. This could be enlarged. Uh, all of this could be decorated. She could add some embellishments here. I put the doily in. This is two signatures. See, very plain here. I just backed this onto some white cardstock, or maybe I printed it on the white cardstock, I can't remember anyway, but nice and plain. She can add to it. I did sew some lace in for her. I left these plain because I know Pam has a ton of charms, and her selection, honestly, is probably better than mine, so I figured she could go ahead and just pick some charms and tie them on here. I did take this envelope and I added some coffee dyed paper to it. This is just vintage paper, but again, this could, she could add lace up here, she could add paper, she could add just whatever she wants to. She could add a pocket here. I did add a pocket on the other side for her and I did put a tag in that I worked on. I put a little flower here and Flora, I thought I was gonna use this for my photo on, on Instagram on the 13th, but I changed my mind actually. Uh, paper here, this is an envelope. Now I did add a little something here to the envelope and I stitched on this lace tab. Uh, I did that, again, just a few things here and there that I added just for a little inspiration or ideas if she wanted them. So that was the first signature. This is a two signature. I left a lot of room because here's what I don't know is like how much stuff is she going to add? How many pockets? Is she going to add belly bands? And I wanted to give her ample room to do whatever she wanted. So this will not become a gator mouth. I left plenty of room for her. 
So this is a piece that I got from my friend Gwen Offit, Gwen Offit Designs. She makes these, she does a beautiful job. And I just made it so like it's a little door and then you could journal here. This is from the kit. Isn't it gorgeous? Look, I did sew some lace in here. I wasn't sure if Pam had a sewing machine, so I sewed some lace. And then I also just, like this one, I just adhered. I didn't sew this one. So here is the center spread that I did, and I love it. I'm very happy with it. And this will be on Instagram for the collaboration. And I just think it's so pretty. So this was the one spread that I did do. So yeah, there's lace all the way around and lace here and a flower and just all beautiful stuff, all from the kit. Love it, it's just beautiful. I mean, look at these images. Aren't they so beautiful? I love the little rabbit having some tea. It's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. And some, um, Vintage music paper. Again, nice and plain. She can leave it like this if she wants to. I sewed in some lace. But it is designed for her to add to it. Maybe put something up here. When you lift this up, there is some coffee dyed paper underneath to be written on. Here is a little... Um, upper pocket here with a little tag and, and she can take this and lay this on something much larger and have a bigger tag if she wants to. And that's the last page and if she wants to she can add a pocket. I did adhere these down to this fabric but she can certainly add a pocket here if she wants to. Like I said there's plenty of room for her to add as much as she wants to it. Let me give it, see the view here. So look, I mean, there's so much room in there, so it won't be a gator mouth when she's done with it. So friends, I just wanted to share it with you. I'm gonna package this up. I'm gonna get this sent off to Pam. She's gonna finish the journal, and she said she would go ahead and do a flip through when she's done. I can't wait to see what she does with it. for watching. See you soon.